Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we're going on a bit of a quest. And, in particular, we're going for a quest of the Benham. Because I don't actually have the Benham, <laughs> but I would like to. <laughs> because out of the ships that are in the, uh, in the shipyard at the moment, this is one that I would actually consider. First of all, well, it's a tier 9, yes, but it's a destroyer. And I have played the Benham a little bit for the review, and it just kind of seemed to be a very unique and fun ship to have. Also, I'm at, um, whatever that is, uh, steel, I presume. I am at 45, I'm at 42 steel, I need 45, so I need three more. Which means we are going to play the Alabama. Because the Alabama, I have already completed the 10 battle thing, and this is one of the tier 8s that I've got laying around, plus we've uh, talked about the South Dakota class battleships already earlier this week. So why not do a... You know, a bit of a, a bit of an add-on. So my Alabama, being uh, it's not a ship that I play extremely frequently, but uh, we have talked about her. I I got her from a bundle, I think, at some point, and it was the first American high tier battleship that I was playing. So that's why I was kind of curious. I do have the historical camo on it. Uh, I do have the same amount, the same setup that I have on um, my other battleships with this thing, even though it might actually. Uh, be interesting to try out the artillery plotting room, but um, I can try that out. I don't have her on the press account, so I can't try it out there. I, I can ask to have her added to the press account if I'm at, if at one day I'm, I'm curious. But for now, I'm, ha I'm very happy with this setup. And uh, she even tends to sail her own commander. I don't even have the, mas the marksman skill yet, but um, you yeah, know, just in case I end up with more premium with my premium American battleships that need the marksman skill at one day. You never know. Anyway, I had one laying around, so he's sitting there. So what, what is the mission that we're actually trying to do? Uh, we have to cause 75,000 points of damage in a battle. Well, that should be easy now, shouldn't it? Well, or so you'd think. All right, then. We are top tier, and we're playing Bay of Storms. We got Roma, Bismarck, NC, Gneisenau carrier and one destroyer on the enemy team so well this should work um lots of lots of divisions on our side the alabama well obviously you kind of want to play her at range because very long range and the guns are pretty precise at range as well and i actually find that they work a lot better on plunging fire than they do work on mid-range but uh okay let's see uh, carrier is sending sending some fighters out to scout, which is always appreciated. Do we have an AFK Mayhem? Um, by the reaction of that this battleship next to me, uh, I'd say we probably do. Um, yeah, hello. All right, so one destroyer. Destroyer is the 50-50 if he's on our side, but carrier hasn't scouted him. And there's a New Orleans to shoot at. Okay, so New Orleans it is. Uh, precise aim. Oh, damn, he just got unspotted. Okay, we'll fire out anyway. Let's see if we can hit anything. But yeah, look at this dispersion at range. Uh, now we get the NC. Okay, I could have shot at the NC instead. Oh, well. Uh, okay. But uh, it looks like we can push forward. The carrier seems to be otherwise occupied. And um, what what are these torps? What are you torpedoing? I don't know. But there's a nice enough to shoot at. So let's see what we can do this is actually a little bit close already It'll be kind of nicer for longer range okay yeah carrier definitely go for me oh, that was some good hits in uh go for me because i i actually have some aa uh, other than these two over there yeah we're gonna grab that one and um i'll shut another plane down okay eight kilometer organizer now probably not gonna too much gonna be happening at this range because the shell arcs are too flat uh yeah mostly semi pens but uh, the New Orleans from earlier spotted again, and uh, he's he's a good target. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's focus that guy then. And again, I'm try trying to stay at range, trying to not overextend, uh, trying to you know support the team from behind, 
the sort of things you're supposed to be doing in, in the ship. And these were some good hits, and he got really lucky not to get Citadel there. But uh, that's half the New Orleans gone. And we've got plenty of targets to shoot at, so there's really no need to get any closer. Uh, New Orleans is, has stopped reversing and it's going forward. Is he in the turn? Yeah, I think he's slightly in the turn, so let's aim a bit higher. And um, McNeisen now is rushing way too far ahead at this point, I think. Um, even the Mayhem has decided, no, nope, I'm not going to have anything to do with that. I'm going to try and gun down the New Orleans. Okay, oh, good luck with that. But uh, we do have a North Carolina, New Orleans, Gneiser now, and a carrier here, so we do need to be a little bit more careful. Okay, let's drop some on the, on the NC, just maybe we can... Uh, we, we've, we've lost one of our destroyers, and uh, just now the mines takes out the Bismarck. How did he manage that? I haven't even paid attention. But our Gneiser now over there, yeah, the carrier gives him, um, gives him fighter support. But he's under fire from three ships, so uh, I think at this point I'm gonna have to stop reversing because uh, otherwise I'll be next very quickly and uh, see if I can if I can help the Gneisen now. Yeah, let's go. Never mind that. Uh, we do need to attract some attention. Okay, we're gonna need some torpedoes, but that's okay. Uh, we've just used one heal so far. And uh, that's a flood, that's okay. Damage corn is on cooldown. And so let's try to kill the New Orleans because he's the most likely just to actually fire high explosive at me if he, if anybody and uh, see if we can catch him yeah just two hits okay yeah the Gneiser now is extremely low so uh, we do need to try to support him a bit there against the enemy Gneiser now over there and the North Carolina let's see if we can save him because we're two and two we're same in scores and um, it looks like our left flank somewhat collapsing it's just the mines over there but, uh, okay, Gneisenau is still not doing any significant damage to that thing. Uh, but he went undetected. There's North Carolina. So uh, I'm just going to try and present myself as a nice flat broadside target here. And uh, just, just to dissuade them from shooting at my low health Gneisenau over there. Okay, North Carolina has taken the bait. Good, so you shoot at me. Um, which means I now need to convince the other Gneisenau to do the same thing. So I'll put her in reverse. Uh, tank some shots from the from the NC and uh, let's see if we can if we can convince that Gneiser now that I'm a better target. Okay, almost off cooldown. There we go. Nope, he's still shooting at our Gneiser now. So, but uh, he's only got two two turrets forward. So ah, that was disappointing. Come on, come on, look at me. Don't 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 look at the low health battleship. Look at me. Ow, what was that? That was a citadel and a half from the North Carolina, probably on the other side. Yeah, must not forget, um, these these, ship, these ships are not not extremely well armored. So even if it's just a tier 7 German battleship, I am still um, at this range not going to do a significant amount of damage. But our organizer now is alive and I still have 28,000 hit points. So this is fine. And my heals of cooldown. So I, I'm just going to present myself here. It's like, look, look, shoot at me, flat broadside battleship. Don't shoot at the low health one behind me because we're one, ship, we're, we're one kill ahead. So... Um, if we can, and it looks like the mines, is it the mines, is coming around to help, but uh, our destroyer over there is probably dead. So we're gonna be we're gonna be even on ship soon. So let's see that our Gneisen now survives and the enemy, enemy Gneisen now does not. Okay, we're at 54,000 uh, 54, damage. Okay, that should be the end of the Gneisen now. Uh, 60,000, oh, we can still do this. Okay, mines, what, what, what are you doing? Um, now our destroyer is dead. Mines is uh, running into all the AA. I mean, Mines has a decent AA, but um, uh, we are ahead on points. We are 100 points in the lead. Uh, don't, don't, don't throw your ship away. I just saved the Gneiser now. Give me a second. <laughs> I'll be giving you air support in a minute. But um, don't, don't, don't win harder. <laughs> We're winning. It's winning. You're not. You're, it's 50 seconds. You're never going to kill a North Carolina who's almost full health in 50 seconds. And do not give broadside to that thing. This is, this is not going to be. This is not going to end well, is it? Um, if we lose the mines, okay, we're 100 points ahead. A cruiser is not going to be worth 100 points. So as long as we are, yeah, we should be fine. Uh, even if we lose the mines, we should we should be fine. Unless we're not. Uh, as long as we're not losing mines and Gneisen now. And uh, yeah, I think we we'd be good. Even if the mines dies now, we should be ahead on points. Okay. <sighs> no more rescue needed. Uh, still, but I'm at 70,000. I have one more salvo. Okay, I've get, I get one more salvo. 
Okay, mine's is dead. One more Gneisen now to survive. One more salvo against the NC. If the Gneisen, the Siri kills the Gneisen now, um, we're probably, we're probably gonna lose this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, how much am I on damage? 73,000. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. I was focusing too hard on winning. I should have been focusing on actually doing, doing damage. Uh, instincts are hard to shake. So, um, it, it turns out that doing 75,000 points of damage in the Alabama when you're actually trying to support your team and and uh, and win the game is uh, reasonably difficult. So well done to the mines, all in all considered. That's, you did even more damage than me. Our two destroyers kind of got uh, got munched up there in the beginning, but uh, we still pulled that one, and we were this close to the seventy-five thousand. So okay, okay, bottom tier this time. That's good. Uh, that means more hit points to to harvest. Enemy carrier. Uh, Iowa, Amagi, Masa, Amaya, Wichita, and Fletcher. Okay, one destroyer, two cruisers. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, let's go. And we're playing Atlantic on domination, which is nice um, because I really, really don't like that map on uh, on base cap. <laughs> so uh, domination is much better because it does have a lot of small islands, and I can actually push one, push one of the flanks, and control one of the caps. Okay, perfect. We're gonna push C, and uh, we're gonna. We're going to have to try and play this a little bit more selfishly if I want to do the 75,000 points of damage. Action All right, then. Uh, who's going? Who's with me? Uh, we've got Xian Yang there. We're, yeah, we've got another battleship on the other flank, so this should be fine. All right. Full speed ahead and see it is. If anything comes in the air, uh, even even bottom tier, I should be able to, to uh, hold my own against the carrier if necessary. And uh, okay, let's go. Let's see what we encounter over in sea. Uh, go going middle in this ship is uh, usually not a great idea. I mean, in this this might it might work because you do have a lot of island cover, but generally uh, you you do want to be further further away and uh, shoot from the distance. But uh, let's see what we can let's see what we can spot. Our carrier goes scouting sea, which is much appreciated. So there is something. There's one cruiser. And one problem that, that I have occasionally in, I'm not sure if that's from my phone or something, is in the Alabama, is that the, um, my range is, is longer than the proper rendering distance and the enemy ships are kind of like half rendered and stuttering a little bit, which makes aiming occasionally interesting. Okay, Iowa. I know that there's an Iowa, I know that there's a cruiser. So I'm just going to wait for the Iowa to come into view and then we'll open up on this guy. I mean, he, he has to know that there's a destroyer in, in, in C Cup, right? Uh, okay, North, uh, NC is pushing. Okay, so, you know what? Let's pretend we're a German battleship. <laughs> that usually works best for me. Okay, full speed ahead, and um, we're, we're gonna hit that Iowa. And whatever else is coming with him. Uh, where's that cruiser gone? The Iowa is still pushing. Oh, there's the Wichita. Uh, he probably he's probably realized that the Iowa is pushing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna okay. NC get, is getting under air attack, so I'm gonna stick to stick close to him. Is the Iowa in secondary range not yet. Is he still pushing in? Yes, he is. Um, not sure how Xian Yang has done anything to him so far, but um, he has he do he does have to be careful with the Wichita. I'm not sure if the Xian Yang is, sh is spotted. He should be at this range. So uh, yeah, Iowa has probably just realized that he's overextended, and yes. <laughs> I can hurt you, and uh, so far everyone's firing at the NC. So, okay, and uh, Xian Yang's fluffed his torpedoes, so that's probably just gonna be like one or two hits. Uh, but the NC takes out the uh, the Iowa, and that only leaves the Wichita. Okay, uh, I thought first the the Wichita was coming around my side of the island, but it doesn't look like so. Um, and a lot of enemy ships are somewhere around the middle. We're only holding one cap. But uh, at this point, but that's okay. Uh, we will just we're mopping up here, and then we'll come around. Okay, Wichita. I'm gonna get some shots out. It's not in secondary range, but uh, full speed ahead. There are more. There, there, I see more. I see two more battleships. Great. Okay, that no, that NC is probably dead unless I can. No, I can't kill the Wichita right now because he's just not in secondary range. Um, which means I am. Uh, I am now air tanking, which is fine. And there's a Massachusetts, okay. And there's a Wichita, okay. 
All right then, and it looks like our Senyang's brave. It's going for the Wichita. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you air cover, buddy, but um, it looks like the um, the CV is going for the for our destroyer. Enemy All right, uh, I don't have time for this. I I have cups to to defend or cups to capture and and most of all damage to deal because I've only done thirty five thousand, so we're gonna need to do some more. Okay, Wichita. Ah, damn it! Sorry, I didn't see the I didn't see the top drop. Uh, my apologies. Uh, okay, full health Amagi and half health Master. Mine. All right, come on, guys. I'm full health here. I haven't taken a single hit in this game. This cannot be standing. Let's brawl. <laughs> All right, Massachusetts, you've got the same guns as I do, but my secondaries are, are better. So let's see what we can do. But you're on low health, so I can just dispatch of you pretty quickly. Um, you don't get rapid reload. Your auto secondary setting me on fire. This is fine, but uh, now you are very dead. And Amagi, you're next. You just ran out of friends, and I haven't even used my first heal yet. So, we're shooting some more planes down, and uh, at, at this range, you really don't want to be at this range in an Amagi. <laughs> okay, carrier. Do I have time to torque dodge? Okay, triple fire, I do need to control. Do I have time to torque dodge? I don't have time for this. Uh, solid torps will have to just do. Let's hope I don't get flooded. And uh, the American fire and flooding protection holds up. Amagi wants to roll. Uh, I'm happy to oblige. Yeah, I'm never gonna dodge torps at this range, but uh, uh, there we go. That's the big caliber, and I think we've already done our mission. Amagi is dead. I think the SX got him. Uh, yeah, well done. Uh, there you go. I left that one for you. Double perma fire, not great, but could have been worse. Okay, Taiho, you're next. <laughs> All right then. Um, let's see if we can. I think he's reversing. Let's see if we can get some hits in. Uh, yeah, there's another citadel. <laughs> of course, Tyre is gonna go for me and my bo um, both my damage con and my uh, repair on cooldowns. So if he sets me on fire now, this is gonna be in. Yeah, yeah, that's another fire. I might be able to survive that, depending on on how much. If if he's focusing me down, I won't. But um, he, I think he has other problems because my whole team is chasing him. Uh, so. Uh, that was not great dispersion wise. Uh, Sian Yang is chasing him and whatever destroys that next to me. So we might as well actually start turning around because this carrier is going to be very, very dead soon and there's still a cruiser and a destroyer somewhere. All right, then uh, a couple more shots out. I mean, it doesn't mean I can't shoot at him. Okay, destroyer, I see you over there. Okay, that should be the end of the Taiho. Cool ships don't look at explosions. <laughs> Okay, who's next? Uh, Maya. Yeah, there's some more Taiho planes coming in. He's trying to get revenge, but um, that just means I get some more. I get some more plane kills. Okay, destroyer. I see you, uh, but I have a cruiser right here. So let's see if I can sink some shots into the Maya. And there's the Fletcher. Mm, okay, okay. I'll switch over to the high explosive for you, Fletcher. Oh, that was disappointing. Okay. Are there any Fletcher torps incoming? Uh, well, okay, Brindisi seems to have torqued the Maya, and uh, yep, there are the Fletcher torps. Yeah, man, I've seen, I do, I've seen these coming miles away. Okay, 14 seconds. That means this is my last salvo. Let's see how much damage we can still do to the Fletcher. If we're lucky, we get like one hit in or something. Uh, doesn't actually look too bad, but he's maneuvering actively. Okay, yeah, one hit. So then, I might feel much better about this one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you can run flanks, uh, any battleship is a German battleship. <laughs> so, what have we done? We have done a grand total of 110,000 damage. Um, we got, well, a dear handful of medals here. <laughs> 21 plane kills. Uh, ni nicely done on our carrier as well. 30 plane kills. Well done, well done. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, that allows us to unlock the Benham. And mission completed. Okay, that's four steel. Thank you. Unleash the war machine. Yeah, that was much more fun <laughs> when I'm brawling it. So, and that gets us over to the shipyard. And there she is, the Benham. Purchase. Yay, I've got a Benham. <laughs> it is worth it. All right, then. Thanks, everybody. That means you're going to see me out in the Benham a little bit in the future. But 
and probably on more quests when I find something else in the shipyard that I'm actually really interesting in, interested in. So until then, that's it for today. Thanks everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye.